You're watching round number eight of the 2008 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series on TSN. Mark Dilley leads the full throttle 200, and we just have nine laps to go. Down the front stretch one more time, side by each. It's the 17 on the outside. Then we got Kerry Mix, the 02, and Don Thompson Jr. in that home hardware Chevrolet. But looking on the bottom, number one, Peter Gibbons, starting to get in the mix. And the 02 of Kerry Mix alongside the Castrol Syntec, number 17 of DJ Kennington. So they're going to battle side by side for second spot. Down the front shoot they go. Well, Mixie's really forced the issue here. He's making DJ work extra hard on the outside, trying to keep that spot. All the while, Mark Dilley must be looking in his mirror thinking, that's it, boys, start battling. Yeah, Mark Dilley loving this show for sure. There's Dave Whitlock. He's fighting his way back to the front. He had a great car. Now he's got to fight his way from the back, but he's a racer. He'll go lap for lap to make sure he gets all the points and all the positions he can. And Ron Beauchamp Jr. picked up the tow truck in a box free pass, as we mentioned, as we ride on board with the driver of the Mopar Dodge. So he continues to try and work his way up. It's funny to see Lynch and Whitlock trying to work their way back up through this field, both involved in that spin down in corner one. There's Don Thompson Jr. He's taking a peek to the inside of the 17. Oh, he gets up into DJ. And that's going to open a hole for the home hardware. Chevy Monte Carlo of Don Thompson Jr. And he's going to plug that hole down into corner number three. Well, DJ Kennington's been fairly strong up off of turn four. Let's see if that Dodge can muscle his way in. Down into the corner one more time. A little squeeze job on Donnie. Donnie's respectful. Down into the corner they go. No contact. DJ takes it back. So gentle off the corner. You can hear the throttle just being laid on as the two car, uh, the O2, I should say, if Kerry Mix starts to work on the nine of Mark Dilly. Look at how close they are on the front. Well, there's the, there's the Dodge guys on top of the pit box. Reno and, and crew just cheer their boy on. This is the best they've run all year, and they're ready for a win here at Mossport. Keep in mind, the 0-2 of Kerry Mix fighting a bad case of the flu as well. So he's doing a wonderful job running in second and working on the leader, but that's a battle for third as well between the four of John Thompson Jr. and the 17 of DJ Kennington. And right over the four shoulder is the one of Peter Gibbons. He's in the mix as well. And don't count any one of these drivers out as Mark Dilly just tries to hit his marks. Oh, we were on board there with Mark for a short period of time. You can see his hands are nice and calm on the steering wheel. That car is working real well. He's just got to be able to beat Kerry off the corner every time. The crew now relegated to the role of cheerleaders with two laps to go. You saw them urging on the driver of the nine car, Mark Dilley, as Kerry Mix looks to the outside. Will he dive to the inside? Not this time. You see Mark come off a of turn two, what they call Whoa. shallow. Kerry Mix, I was going to say, when he come off the corner shallow, that allowed the 0-2 of Kerry Mix to get a run at him and got to the back bumper and used it. White flag, one more lap to go. Your new leader is a BDI Ford Fusion of Kerry Mix. Here comes Mark Dilley back to the inside. Ken Dilley hit him in corner three and four. It's Mix up high. Dilley down low. They lean on each other. Battle, it'll be a drag race to the start finish line and it will be Kerry Mix by a nose followed by the number nine of Mark Dilley. Will come off third. Well, I'll give a card up call to Mark Dilly there. Mark Dilly got back to the rear bumper of Mixie. Give him a little nudge just to let him know he's there. But he could have very easily drove down in and give him the bumper, but he didn't. Good job, Mark Dilly. Gary Mix pumps his fist. We'll be back to chat with a happy camper. Welcome back to Mosport. Todd Lewis standing by in the full throttle 200 winner circle. Gary Mix taking a drink of water, getting a towel from daughter Amanda and climbs out of the Beyond Digital Imaging car to wave to the crowd. He accepts the checkered flag, waves it as well. We'll give Kerry a second to have a seat. Boy, what a team victory. You guys rebuilt this car this week. You're not feeling well, but you managed to steal a win late in the race. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm a little bit emotional right now. Uh, <laughs> I got to dedicate this to my mom. This isn't a hard deal. <sighs> just, uh, just a hard deal, you know. But uh, hats off all to my crew, <laughs> ah, my sponsors, everybody. Just uh, a little bit emotional right now. 
Understandably so, an emotional win for Kerry Mix and the 0-2 Beyond Digital Imaging team. Well, racing is a tough deal. It's very emotional. They're all family, you know, and Kerry Mix is a very family-oriented guy. As he'll celebrate in victory lane, uh, take a look at the top 10 here in the Full Throttle 200. Peter Gibbons coming home in the fifth spot. John Gaunt with a top 10 run in sixth. Jim Lapsovich does well to come home eighth as well. Now Todd standing by with your second place finisher. You were fast in that Dodge car, no doubt about it. Take us through the last couple of corners where it went away from you. Well, just the car was still fast. I, I might have got a little tight going into, into three down there, and, you know, Carrie and I got just touched there. And once you touch and the car gets sideways, it's hard to do anything, right? I mean, me and him have raced 20 years together, and I've done that many times, and there's many more coming both ways, I'm sure. So that's part of it, you know. That's, uh, I almost got him back, but close, but I think we were to wreck as bold if I stood on him. We both need to keep running and doing good. So I'm happy for Dodge, Leland. You know, everybody, Maple Lodge Farms, Wild Wing. I'm just happy for the whole team did a good job. And, uh, you know, what can I say? Great run by Mark Dilley in that number nine. That's right. And it's great to see Mark Dilley back up on the podium. He's a great racer. So we'll take a look at the Castro Point standings. And they have shifted a little bit. Of course, Scott Steckley came in with a 146-point cushion over Don Thompson Jr. That gap is now down to 96. DJ Kennington just a further two points back of Don Thompson Jr. Todd standing by with DJ. DJ Kennington, another podium finish, another strong effort from this Castrol Dodge, and it looks like you make up a little ground today, too. Yeah, you know, I hate seeing that happen to anybody because we've all had our bad luck, but uh, it's a tough one for Scott. Uh, he's had an amazing year, and I'm sure he'll be back just as fast as ever at Three Rivers. But for us, the Castrol Dodge, MPP, everybody that helps us, my guys, Dave White, um, Scotty, <laughs> Jim Walsh, everybody that helps me out, man, my dad. You know, it just takes a big effort to get this done, and it's a tough series. Congratulations to Kerry and Mark, and got to thank Mopar, Dodge, everybody that helps us out, and uh, we'll go get them at Three Rivers. That's all we can do. Thanks. Well, DJ always smiling. Next week, he'll be the busiest man in motorsports, Three Rivers, Quebec, and in his nationwide car at Michigan International Speedway. And we got all 200 laps in. Uh, ceremonies finish up. The rain starting to sprinkle here at Mosport. The Full Throttle 200 has been brought to you by... Castrol. It's more than just oil. It's liquid engineering. By Dodge. Grab life by the horns. And by Allied Steel Buildings, the leading, most trusted brand of steel building. And that's Stephanie Conrad from Full Throttle joining the fellows on the podium. So the oval track done here at Mosport as we head back to the final street race of the season in the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. The GP3R100 will be there from all of us at James Robinson Associates. See you next time.